More than 1,600 people and 140 animals have been rescued since Milton roared ashore on Wednesday. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live in Tampa, where the nonstop rescues continue right now. Andrew. There's a really big concerted effort right now between different sheriff's departments, FWC with their uh, John boats, with the swamp boats as well, uh, police departments from all across the country because we keep seeing scenes like this block to block all across Tampa, just completely underwater, and those rescues will continue well into the night. So many homes cut off by flooding, residents trying to wait it out. Los niños están sudando, no hay el aire. Maria Hernandez and her kids are staying put in the dark, in water. We're just staying upstairs, wait until the water's gone. And yeah, just everything downstairs is like a little bit ruined. Juan Hernandez says the water flowed in quickly. He's with his three siblings, his mom and his cousins camped out upstairs. This one was really hard for me. Uh, water just came in out of nowhere. Um, I was shocked. Intense water rescues continue all across the Tampa area. More than six feet of water inside this home in Dover, Hillsborough County to the rescue to get eight people out, including a child here. If you guys have any trouble, let somebody know, please. But block by block, we found a very similar story. Residents saying they expected the water might go down by now. Yesterday evening and today we was told that this can be a couple of weeks. April Hicks and her daughters called for help on Friday morning. Unable to walk the uneven surfaces to get out, beyond thankful to these heroes who showed up to take them to the shelter. Very, very Extremely thankful. Good. Very thankful. I am so grateful for the sheriff people to come get us, to rescue us, that I've decided to be like them. <laughs> All right, back out here live. I want to show you because we keep seeing residents coming out with these air mattresses. As a matter of fact, off here to the side, you see other people walking down with more air mattresses. There's one right over here as well. What they're doing is they're going back and forth to their homes, to these flooded neighborhoods, grabbing what they can, putting it on the air mattress, taking it out, and just doing that trip back and forth. Other neighborhoods are much more underwater. So again, deputies right now are going around throughout the night, making sure anybody who needs help has it. That's the latest here in Tampa. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew, when it comes to that help for these people who are trying to take their belongings out of their home and keep it dry, where are they going? The shelters are still open to help these people? Yeah, so everybody that we've seen being rescued today, when we followed some of these sheriff's deputies on their runs, they're being taken to shelters. Shelters will remain open for right now. And then obviously other charitable organizations, organizations like the Red Cross are starting to get involved as well to see where we can help these people.